Are you looking to make your streams more interactable? Do you want to make your viewers punch you in the face? Do you just want your viewers to give you a big brain so then you know what the hell you're doing with your life? Yeah, this is big brain time. Well then, look no further than this tutorial to teach you exactly how to make it so your channel points actually mean something on Twitch. Let's go. How's it going guys? Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is Desinker and today guys, like I mentioned on the intro, I'm going to be teaching each and every one of you how to make it so your channel points on Twitch actually interact directly with your OBS so then you can automate different effects and actually make them do something for once. Let's get this party started. So guys, there are several different methods that you can use in order to make it so your channel points actually do something on your OBS or your Twitch. However, today I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how I do it. So the first thing that you guys got to do is hop over on this website and download the OBS WebSocket plugin. Go over to the download page, it'll take you to their GitHub. Scroll all the way down and there's two versions that you can download. You can download an automatic installer or you can download the zip file. For this tutorial, guys, we're gonna go over with the zip file. So make sure you click that and start downloading it. So guys, after you download the plugin from the website, it's very, very simple to install. Basically, all you're going to do is going to go to your OBS Studio directory. You're gonna open the WebSocket zip that you downloaded. You're gonna grab everything, click and drag in, and install it. And if you already have it installed, you just click replace and there you go. So now that you have the OBS WebSocket plugin installed, guys, that's step one out of the way. Just make sure you restart your OBS if you had it open for whatever reason, so then the plugin will actually start properly working. Now we have to go and download Touch Portal, which is the actual software that I use to make it so it does things when my channel points are redeemed. So basically, head over to the Touch Portal website. The link of it is going to be on the description. Very easy to install it. Head over to the download up here. Choose the version that you use. I imagine most people are going to be using Windows, so just click download on that and let it do its thing. Once you download a touch portal, make sure you go over to where your downloads folder is, double click the EXE and install touch portal onto your system. So guys, after you downloaded and installed your touch portal, this is what you have to do. You have to configure it so it not only connects to your OBS, but also your Twitch account. So then it can read your chat and notice that, hey, this reward has been redeemed, let's do this. To do that, simply click the little cog up here on Touch Portal, go over to OBS, and this is where you're gonna connect that WebSocket plugin on your OBS with Touch Portal. So in order to get the details, you go over to Tools, go to WebSocket Server Settings, and then it will open up this little tab over here with some details and whatnot. Now, in order for you to connect it, you have to make sure the details match. Make sure that Enable WebSocket Servers is toggled and the Enable Authentication is also toggled. The port has to match. The default should be 4444. However, you can change it to whatever you feel comfortable. I'd say just leave it as default. And so does the WebSocket password. You don't even need particularly to have a password, but you can choose to add one just for the extra security. Once you're done with that, just hit OK on the WebSocket Server settings and then make sure that you save the ones on the OBS settings. The next thing you have to do is head over to the Twitch side of things and you have to add your access token and your chat token. To do that, all you gotta do is simply click connect. A new page is gonna open. You copy the code that it gives you and place it there. And same with the chat token. You click request, a new page is gonna open. You copy that token there, you paste it there and then you hit save. And there you go, your touch portal is now configured. All you have to do now is restart touch portal and restart your OBS in order to actually get everything working correctly. Now that you have your touch portal configured, let me show you a way of actually making it so your channel point redemptions does something with the touch portal. This is what you have to do. So this is your touch portal grid. Obviously I already have my current ones and all the effects that I use already in place. On Touch Portal is very handy because there's also a phone app that you can use as a stream deck and you can actually change the size of the grid to pretty much whatever size you want. Now, let's make a brand new button. So, click on an empty space, make sure you name it, let's call it test, go to on event, scroll all the way down until you see Twitch, go to on channel point redemption and type the name of 
your uh, channel redemption. We're gonna call it test because I already made one specifically for this purpose. And let's see that, let's make it so once test is redeemed, it changes my scene to my main camera display. That's pretty much it. So you basically have touch portal saying, when this channel of redemption gets submitted, so test, change to this scene. Click save, there's the button over there. Now once you redeem this, it'll automatically switch to the scene that you wanted. So that's it guys, that's how you make it so your channel rewards actually mean something on Twitch. You can do so many amazing things and you can get super super creative with it as well. With Touch Portal there are also if statements, timers, you can basically make a full animation out of it with a single channel redemption and you can even make it so it toggles with your phone as well to do the exact thing that you set out to do. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Come hang out with us on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. on Shadow West Standard Time. If you guys have any questions and you're stuck with anything, we also have an OBS help section on our Discord. So if you have any questions there, I'm more than happy to help out either on, on my Discord or on Twitch itself. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch y'all later, folks. Pay no attention to the fact that my hair grew a couple of inches between the time period I made the intro and the rest of this video.